welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing the battle of the highlighters. I went into Primark quite a while ago to just have a look at the makeup and I discovered this highlighter which was £2 and if I'm honest I didn't think it was a highlighter, I thought it was a face powder. And then when I read it, it said Radiant Glow Highlighting Powder, I thought, mm. This could be good to try. So I picked this up for only two pounds, bargain, and I'm gonna put <laughs> I'm going to be putting this to the test against the Balm Mary Lou, as they are both very similar shade colours, and yeah, I'm gonna test out the formula, I'm gonna actually test them out on both sides of my face, and yeah, so if you'd like to see if this maybe could be a dupe, of the Mary Lou or if you would like to see just how good this Primark highlighter is whether it's a fail or a hell yeah carry on watching that was a very smooth transition so for oh my gosh so for the high end highlighter I am going to be using the Balm Mary Luminizer now this is a really good highlighter I have mentioned this quite a lot on my channel it's great for building up your highlighter if you want a more natural glow or to like a medium quite high glow but yeah this is really good this is quite good for daily use if you don't want a extreme highlight and it does really give a gorgeous radiant glow and then for the Primark side I have honestly not touched this because I really really wanted to do like a first impressions so this is the two of them side by side this is Mary Lou this is a Primark one and as you can see they kind of do look quite similar but this one does look slightly more darker this looks more like a setting powder than a highlighter it doesn't really show a lot of shimmer which obviously this does so now I'm going to swatch them both for you on my hand to see the difference on colour and what it's going to be like on my skin I'm just going to dip my middle finger into the Primark one and I'm not kidding it feels oh my god this feels so soft. Oh, I love that. It The formula already feels super, super soft. And compared to the Mary Luminizer, the Mary Luminizer doesn't feel as soft. It's more tightly packed together. And obviously the Primark one is very, very soft, which could mean there could be a lot more fallout. It kind of depends. Oh my God. So this is the Primark one and this is the Bar Mary Lou. Look at that. How? So this is a lot more pigmented than the Bar Mary Lou. As you can see, it is a lot more stronger. So with the swatches, the Primark one is so highly pigmented, super soft. They are very, very similar in shade. The consistency obviously is a lot different. The Primark one is super soft, which means it is a lot more powdery, which I guess could be a bad thing. It may look powdery on my skin. We won't know until I test this out on my face. So now I'm going to put them both on my face and I'm going to put the balm on this side of my face and the Primark on this side. To make this a fair test, I'm going to be using this brush for the Mary Lou and this for the Primark. And this brush is a massive, huge eyeshadow brush, which I love using for highlighter. And this is the Kiko 200. This is really good for highlighter. So this brush has only got product on from the last time I used the Bar Mary Lou. And then I'm going to use in this, which is clean. I've not used this yet for the Primark one. So I'm just swirling this into the side. And I'm going to put this onto my cheeks. With the Bar Mary Luminizer, I do end up putting quite a few coats of this on as I do use the Sin Highlighter which is my all time favourite highlighter and that with one swipe just gives you so much pigment but with the Bar Mary Lou I do have to build up to meet the glowiness and stuff like that I do like my highlighter like beaming so the Bar Mary Lou I do use about two three layers of highlight okay so now for the Primark side which is the side that most people will want to know I'm really excited to try this I've never used it ah, I'm excited I'm going to use my clean brush and I'm going to swirl it around okay so first it, if you can see that 
straight away this powder has so much fallout and also with this I feel like the pan in itself doesn't feel so sturdy in the packaging as I can feel the pan of the highlighter moving which obviously isn't that great but you are only paying £2 you do get what you pay for really but I am excited to try this on my cheeks so whoa so now I'm going to test this Primark one on this side of my face oh my god oh wow I think I really like this oh my god are you kidding me are you actually kidding me how is this so good? Look how pigmented that is. I'm actually shocked. And this side is Bar Mary Lou. I'm actually blown away. There is no comparison. The Primark one is so pigmented. The Primark one is very, very, very similar to the Urban Decay Sin highlighter. I'm not even joking. When I want a really gleaming, beaming highlight, I use sin, so I'm gonna put this on my chin and I'm gonna put it down on my nose as well. Oh my god, I'm actually <gasps> I'm so shocked. This is no way. This is literally a dupe. Hands down, this is a pure dupe of the Mary Luminizer. It is actually better. The only con about the Primark one is that it does have a lot of kickback. But I don't feel like if you rise above that and really love that glow, this highlighter is amazing. For only £2, I am not kidding, I definitely recommend this. I can't get over how good this highlighter is. I'm actually really, really shocked. So I'm going to now use this highlighter over the top of my Mary Lou as as you can tell, this side is nowhere near as good as this side. I'm just going to put it in the inner corners. So as you can see, this has been an absolute shock and a success. I can't believe I have just tested out a £2 Primark highlighter that is nearly as good as my Urban Decay Sin highlighter. I'm speechless. The Mary Lou is really good for people who like that natural highlighter. But within one swipe, this gives me the intensity which I have to use three swipes for the Mary Lou. Like, that is impressive. And the Mary Luminizer is ten times the price of this. So, I am absolutely shocked. I'm, I'm stunned. This Primark highlighter is in the shade Moonlight Beam. I didn't see any other highlighters there. Just this one. Definitely recommend if you need a highlighter and don't want to be paying out oh my god check this little beauty out this has lit my heart now i the fact that i have a two pound highlighter that is better than my 16 pound highlighter how is that possible it's just amazing so definitely if you haven't seen this or check this out i really do recommend this as it is definitely worth a try so that is my battle of my highlighters i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on wednesday bye it's the camera moving <gasps> my g sign my G's up. Look how big these sleeves are. I honestly feel like a bat. It's amazing. Yay! I can get my eyelashes done tonight. Woohoo! So for my... So for... Oh my gosh.